Before it was ever like a way to pay to race or a way to pay my bills, it all started just to express myself and to stay alive. And I've always been a wordsmith. I used to work at a motocross magazine. That was like my best subject in school. Like it's the only thing that there wasn't really any rules other than grammar. Put your periods and commas where they're supposed to go and spell shit right, but otherwise say whatever you want to about this topic. I never was real musical. I tried to play guitar my whole life, but that is what it is. I'm, I can pick around enough to write something. So words are kind of always what I had to lean on. I never, I never felt like I was the best singer either, honestly. So I kind of just spent my time chasing down words. It's always been right in front of me. Now I miss the forest for the trees, what my mama used to say. Get so lost on the little details, I don't see everything. I'm working on that. You know, the songwriting process is kind of crazy. And at first I thought it would be one of the harder things to talk about because I feel like there's not a lot of method to it. A lot of it's just a gift, something you catch, something that inspires you, something you heard. I think, luckily, I don't know what a hit is yet. I know what sounds good and feels good, but I'm not chasing something that's gonna get some kind of numbers because I don't know what that is. And I feel like, honestly, if I'm chasing what I think's a hit, I'm probably six months late. A lot of it's just such a feeling thing. I mean, a lot of my friends and people that are closest to me that I write like real vulnerable, songs with say like you want me the day something happened or the day after something happened because I'm always gonna that's how I process I think instead of saying some sideways shit that I don't mean or um, going to a place that's maybe not good or whatever for me I'll think about it till I know what, how I'm gonna write it and I just put it away and then when it's time to jam I, I deal with it and it just helps me be who I need to be <laughs> outside of this stuff, you know? I think there's little things about songwriting that anybody who does it, it's just a natural instinct. But I definitely had to learn. I mean, I remember at first I could write five verses, but I couldn't write a hook to save my life. And Tyler would always say, man, that's real dope. You just need to write a chorus. And uh, it took a long time. And when they first signed me, like, Everybody at Tree Vibes kind of knew I couldn't write a full song, but that I had something. Like, I could string words together crazy, and it all made sense, but there never was a payoff. So that was everybody's advice, is just study it. Every room you're in, like, be vocal, but try to listen and be a sponge, and soak up what these cats are doing. And it took a, it took a minute. I mean, the first year, there was a few songs that made it through that I'm gonna end up cutting, but a lot of them were pretty rough, man. And, I'm thankful that, I mean, I've always got to write with some badass people, honestly. Some of them I wasn't ready for. And I'm just thankful the town took a chance on me because I learn a lot from a lot of people. And I try to make sure I, you know, say thanks and tell everybody, give props, because a lot of folks want to try to act like it's just natural. But it ain't, man. I've, everything I do, I've soaked up from somebody else. I might put my little twang on it, but I'm just putting back what I've heard, you know what I mean? I think I just want to know that whatever words I put out in the next 5, 10, 20, 30 years, like, that I just really said something. Like, I want people to party to the shit too and everything else, but like, I just want to, I want to leave a mark that way as far as I don't need to be the most famous. I don't care if my biggest songs are stuff I write for other people and I don't ever have a hit as artist. I want people to go back and say, whoever wrote, even if they don't know it was me or I was on it, whoever wrote that shit wrote one. I don't care if I ever hear about it, but that's, I hope that's the mark I leave is people just enjoy it. That it hit them just right, whether it was a happy or a sad or whatever one, whoever sang it. Just hoping words count. <laughs>